and welcome to Amethyst Star Crafting. My name is Jane Ormark and I'm a UK independent stamping up demonstrator. And today we are having a look at Let It Ride, um, which is these lovely artistic horse drawn um, or horse, uh, drawn horses are beautiful line work. Um, and we're going to look at this little fellow here and we're going to do something different with it. So um, we need a scrap of paper to start off with. And I'm using thick Whisper White because I actually want to be able to um, put it up in the dimensionals and have a little bit more, um, um, oh, what do you call it, um, thickness to it. Can't get my words right today. Okay, so we're going to just put this on the block like this. And then we're going to take a good black ink and um, just a scrap of um, paper it can be any sort of size at all but we want to stamp it down in the bottom now I'm going to do two because if the first one doesn't work out I've got another one to do without having to um, redo it shall we say so we're going to stamp the other one in the bottom like this as well Okay, right, so we have two to work with. And the reason I was saying we're having two to work with is that we're going to make a um, a little girl's card um, and I have um, one of my granddaughters absolutely adores unicorns. She's mad about unicorns, anything to do with unicorns. She thinks they're absolutely amazing. So I thought I'd make her a card um, and I thought horses we must be able to make a unicorn with it now i know that i've seen a couple where they've put the unicorn uh, or the horn coming out of this one but i thought i would do the bigger horse and see if we can have a go at doing that so how do we make a horn for a unicorn um well the easiest way that i have found is we need to take a uh, a pencil and we need to have um, a rubber on the end because we're going to work at it with the rubber. So I'm going to take this one first. And if you look, there is a little line along here, along there. And that's where the horn is going to come out of. So I'm going to take it from, I'm going to work out roughly where that point is, which is going to be about there. And I'm just going to very lightly with the pencil, draw a line down where I want the horn to come and as I say it's going to be very pale and then we're going to take it up to a bit of a point and then bring it down on the other side and then I'm going to look and see is that about balance no it needs to come a little bit wider like that and then down that way like that Okay, that's about right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to rub it out, but just leave a very faint line on there so we can just very faintly see where it is. And then I'm going to take our black marker, which is, let me have a look and find my black marker. I had it out a moment ago. So as always, I've put it away somewhere carefully. And have I put it back in the case? Yes, probably. So let me just get it out of my cases. Okay, so the stamping right marker. Um, very good. You can actually get it as a single one. And we want the fine tip on this. And we are then going to take the horn coming through. So I'm going to take it from the top with the marker. Bring it down through. And where the, um, the hairs comes I'm going to take it just through on here so it comes down onto this bit and take the other one and take it down onto there so we've got it um, going down through onto this piece now I'm going to do the other side because I don't know which one I prefer and this is what I suggest um, have a play around with it this time I'm going to take it from this part here so it's going to come a little bit further out to maybe that point so I'm just literally drawing a line through and then drawing a line through the other way 
to get the horn out turning it around to look and see is it the right sort of size it needs to be just a little bit bigger I think so take it out and this is why if you do it with a fine pencil you can just sort of get your faint line coming because as I said I am no artist right that's a bit better um, rub it out again so you've just got that faint sort of line where you want it and then take the black marker on the thin side and we're then going to take that from there so we want it to come onto this bit this time so let's take that from there draw it down take it in on there and then take it I'm going quiet because I'm concentrating on getting that line through and take it through like that okay so we now have two um, and then I need to work out which one I prefer so um, we've got that one running that side and we've got that one running that side I think that one probably is a little bit better than the other that's why I said I would always do two so now we're going to take our blends and we need a unicorns are sort of ice cream colors so I want a um, a let's have a look is that have we got pool party yes we're going to have pool party and we're going to have a pink um, I'm not sure which pink this is um powder pink which is what we want so we are just literally going to um take the do i want pink first or blue first i don't think it really matters much so i just want to do some little lines of the pink for the unicorn and then just bring that down on there and then we're going to take the um pool party and we're just going to colour that in. Now, what we want to try and do is to avoid the hairline piece. So there's a little bit of the hair at the front that's coming through, which you can see that sort of comes out. And we want to avoid that because we are going to then very carefully just sort of colour through where the lines are of the mane. And we want to have it fairly fine so we're not going to color it through so that it's got great big huge lines because we're just going to unicorns are white so um, although their manes are a variety of colors the actual unicorn itself is white so we want to keep it white so i'm just taking and i'm doing it on the fatter nib with this i'm just taking a very sort of finely stroking through just on little bits where the the hair is coming through so we've just got a little bit of this color um, the pink and the blue coming through on the mane because the mane can be this sort of um, ice cream color um, in fact you can do it however you want because unicorns are mythical creatures but um, I just wanted to get it so it's just got a little bit of uh, um, color on there and then we're going to take our wink of Stella because unicorns can be quite sparkly and we are literally just going to on the white part being careful because the wink of Stella is water-based and what we don't want is it's all right on the ink if you've used a as I have a um, archival ink so a alcohol based ink but if you get it onto the um the water based markers stamping right markers they can bleed a little bit so just to be a little bit careful with that but once that's dried um, you probably won't see it on the camera um, but it does give a nice sort of bit of a sparkle on it so we then need to um paper snips at the ready which are what have i done with my paper snips <laughs> i'm always losing bits and pieces i have a small workspace to work with and i'm always working on ideas and things and then i turn around and put my stuff out of the way and go like oh where have i put those um they're about somewhere i shall get them in a minute um what i will do is i'm going to put that to one side because we're going to work on the background so we need a piece of whisper white cardstock which is um 
five and a quarter inches by three and a half inches and then the mat's going to be quarter of an inch wider and we are going to take from the sheltering tree this lovely sort of splodgy stamp here because I think that that will work very well for a background so I've actually got that one out and we are going to I'm going to make it work on a block like this I'm just going to take it sideways on this block and just press it down move my pencil out of there ha ah, found my paper snips um, and we're going to take the paper that way and we are going to use the same colors um, so we want powder pink we want pool party and I'm going to use a little bit of Highland Heather because I think that that will work quite nicely so um, let's start with the pink at the top and what I want to do is to create a nice sort of um, fairly sort of washy type background but using a stamp so we'll take it from that side and the powder pink is quite pale so you might not even be able to see that coming out very well but we're going to take it right the way across so one side and the other then let me get my scrub so I can just um, or my simply chamois so I can just give that a quick clean off and then we're going to take the pool party so let's ink that up and we're just going to run that next one just next to it slightly off and the pool party is slightly darker than the powder pink but that's fine take the other one so that comes off clean that and then we are going to we're going to re are we going to, yes we're going to repeat the process just with these two to start off with so we'll have the powder pink and the powder pink and then the pool party whoops stuck onto it there and the pool party I love the fact that we've got so many different um, background stamps that you could actually use whatever you fancied but I thought that this would work quite well because I want this sort of just sort of um, as I say ice cream coloured background and if you notice I've left just a little bit of a gap because I want to add just a little bit of purple in here so the Highland Heather I think will work absolutely beautifully and what I want with the Highland Heather is I don't want it too strong so I am actually going to stamp off so tip with the new stamp pads press at the top click opens it up and then it's really easy to open so we are going to ink this one up and then we're going to stamp it off once because it's quite dark and I don't want it too dark and we're going to line it between the pool party and the powder pink just sort of in the center that's nice so it gives just a little bit of a color in like that ink it up again and stamp it off and then we'll have another one in on here like that And another one in like that so we've got the different sort of waves of color sort of coming through which I think just gives a nice sort of background for it in those colors um, that as I say remind me of the unicorns that you see they always have these sort of um, pastel ice cream sort of colors um, okay so we now need to have a sentiment coming on here so I am going to first of all um, no I'm not I am going to I have made one earlier now where did I put it um, right here it is okay so what I've done is you need to just fussy cut round um, the horse or the unicorn as it is now and that's then going to sit in the bottom like that so you need to do it that's why I said cut um, put it in the corner because then when you cut it out you've got your corner edge in there so that's going to sit there and then I want um, a sentiment now I wanted something that said magical 
So I've gone to Magical Mermaid and we've got a lovely have a magical birthday. So I thought that that would work very well. Um, as I say, for any little girl that's having her um, birthday coming up and is uh, mad on, on unicorns, which, as I say, I know are incredibly popular here in the UK. I don't know whether it's the same around uh, the rest of um, the world, but um, certainly in the UK, unicorns just have been so popular over the last probably year. And uh, so I keep being asked, can you do something with unicorns? So... Um, so this is a something with unicorns. Now, is that straight? Um, yes, that looks all right. Um, now, I'm going to do this. I'm going to tone it in in the purples. So I'm going to get our gorgeous grape because that's a really lovely dark purple. And I'm going to do the sentiment in the gorgeous grape. I think I think it'll be better in gorgeous grape than in black. Let's stamp it on the side and have a little look, shall we? Yes, that'll work perfectly. Okay, so we we want to have that about in the center here. So let's try and line that up with the camera lights and have a look and yes, have a magical birthday. So that's perfect for that part. And I just want to add a little bit of extra texture in here. Um, I don't mind having blank spaces, but I think we need just a little bit of something in here. So while we've got the Magical Mermaids out, um, I'm going to take this, um, the little sort of splodge thing, because I think it'll add that sort of... Um, Oh, what do you call it? Starry type thing round um, the unicorn that gives it that magical sort of look. So I'm just going to put it on the block here and we've got the gorgeous grape which we want. So I'm just going to take this off for a minute and then let's ink this up. And we're going to have one on the top here like that that's nice and then we'll have one sort of running through like that and then we'll have one at the bottom just turning it round in that corner like that okay so it just sort of gives that uh, um, a little bit of extra texture pulls in the colors and gives that as I say that sort of um, ethereal type look that um, we want with the um, the unicorn and that that sort of magical feel that we've got okay right I'm just going to put that there for now now let's take some of these ink pads out of the way so we haven't got everything in our surface area and then we are going to we need to mount this on something so um, I'm going to take a piece of what have I got? Um, I've got some of the grapefruit, grapefruit, I'm always saying that, gorgeous grape on there. And I think that that will work perfectly. I'm going to take this out of the way so we can actually see. This is just copy paper because I go through quite a lot if I'm doing colouring and things. So if we put that there like that and we then take our unicorn and pop him in the bottom like that and I would put him up with dimensionals I'm not going to show you now on that and then I just put it on a white card base so here's a white card base that I've got um, which is just a plain back ground you could emboss it if you wanted to but as I say put the unicorn in on there and then you've got that sort of sparkly bits coming up through um, you could heat emboss in silver to get some extra on there if you wanted to um, but I thought it was a fun card um, to change the let it ride into a unicorn and as I say fairly simply done so that you can then cut it out so do have a go at doing it and thank you so much for watching me and do look forward to seeing you again bye bye